Christ, right? Uh, let's go to Ecclesiastes 8. Real quick, Ecclesiastes 8, and then I'll write Isaiah 4, 26 and 10. Because he showed, he, he prophesied about a time where grace would come and we would get more and more wicked. He gave you grace, meaning what? The judgment is not being handed down right now. That's why homosexuals, idolaters, uh, adulterers, that's why they're not being killed. Under the law, the judgment is over this to kill. Why y'all not killing folk if y'all keeping the law? Judgment been given to Christ, John chapter 5. But judgment day is coming. So right. what do we do? Tell people, oh, just continue in your sin, it don't matter. Or do we warn them? Hey, partner, drop that. Mm -hmm. you know the Lord coming with a sword, with blood on his garment. You know this, right? Uh, red eyes meaning he's very angry. It don't mean he hot. He's <laughs> angry. He's hot. He got red eyes. He's angry. Because they ain't been lying on him. All right? Let's get there. You got that? Please ask me. Where I got that? Isaiah. Then we're going to get back to our Matthew 5. We just talked about, about the law. Christ didn't come to do away with the law. And for y'all just walked in, cover of Newsweek, America's first gay president. Mm. That's, that's what it say on the cover of <laughs> He speaks so well. Though, huh? I voted for him because he was black. And he, uh, and he speaks well. It say right here, the first gay president. They got a halo around this. He's going to steal God's symbol, too. Look at that. Got that with facts. What y'all don't know is that right here in the scriptures, the Lord calls homosexuality an abomination. Then we're going to jump into this Romans and show you in the New Testament as well. It is not condoned at all. It's condemned. Mm -hmm. Why they rolling out all the preachers and they all, most of them saying it's okay, it don't even matter. Not all of them, but some of them say, you know, it don't matter. You know, Jesus died for that. They'll just throw it off like it's cool. No, I mean, the Lord incinerated Sodom and Gomorrah for this very act. <laughs> and you can still find the ruins of Sodom and Gomorrah today. Right? And, they, and, and there's rocks of brimstone still laying there. Mm. But it's okay. Now right, let's get that. You got that? Ecclesiastes. Uh -huh. Chapter 8, verse 11. Ecclesiastes, right there after Proverbs. Chapter 8, verse 11. So yeah, whenever y'all read Paul, please read him all the way through. Because he know he took you for a word. <laughs> What is he saying? Don't do what? No. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. The Lord prophesied the time would come when he would give grace. A lot of people are pulling their grace card. We have a grace that don't matter. But grace was never to, to relax you. It was never to relax you and say, well, it don't matter. We can do what we want. That wasn't what grace was given for. All of us would be dead if it wasn't for some grace. But we ought to violate. But that don't mean you got a free badge to do what you want. Where we at? Everybody there? Let's get it. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, mm -hmm. verse 11. Uh -huh. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. You see that? Sentence against an evil work. Hold on, look around right there. You ain't got anything? No. All right, well, you get that first. 752. Sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. See, back then, if you was if you was for the brokerage side, if me and this brother saw you in that unlawful act, we would drag you to the brick pile and just kill you. Straight up. You get a brick shot. If you was caught. Now we're under the grace of the judgments. We can't do that. But we do warn people. Repent and put that down, man. Alright? Come on, Ecclesiastes, you know? Ecclesiastes 8, verse 11. What does it say, Israel? Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Uh -huh. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. It's fully set in them to do evil. Because you don't see the homosexuals or idolaters or lesbians or any of them being executed right now. So, oh, it must be good then, huh? Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. It's fully set in us to do evil. And took the fear of the Lord out the whole equation. Huh? Had you been reading from birth to, to, to little, little Johnny over here that, hey, you know this is worthy of death right here. Right? And had the fear of God at him any time that lust jumped on him. He was like, oh, no, I can't get to the kingdom of heaven like that. 
They not, we not getting in like that. You see what I'm saying? Right. Read that one more time, bro. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Uh. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. It's fully set in men to do evil because you don't see the judgment being handed out right yep. now. Yep. Right. Knowing that Christ on his way with judgment. Knowing he come with a sword, he's going to be angry. Revelation says it's going to be so much blood, it's going to be up to the horse's bride. But they got you digging it just, you know, the house on the prairie. We gonna just, we gonna come back, sing a couple songs. Right. He right? come to get his house in order, man. Right. That's why we warn the folks. Let them know, like, look, man, this is not no light thing. It mess around. Be a lot of calamities happen to the United States because of this. Look at what your leader just said. Like it's all good. It is not all good, y'all. You got that Isaiah force. Grab Isaiah twenty. I just wanted to hit that verse and show y'all. Right there, we say it's fully set men to do evil because the judgment is not being handed out. And then uh, there's Isaiah 26 and 10. Hey, hold on, Malik. Yes, sir. Where is that information coming out of that he's gay? This, this new way it says the first yeah, gay president. Is. This is the cover news. It ain't saying he's gay. 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 He's now look, now that's that can swing either way. Either he's doing it for votes or he could be appropriate. But yeah. you're not wow. thinking about 15 years or something. Mm -hmm. Kids are going to be taught that he was gay from seeing yeah. stuff like yeah. that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yep. Yep. No doubt. So he could be. I mean, if, you, if you're if doing that, well, it may be for the votes. Will Christ <laughs> promote homosexuals getting married? No. For votes? No. no. For one, you ain't going to be voting on him anyway. He's the king of kings. So all your voting is going to be done away with anyway once the Lord returns to set this thing up. And he ain't going to take the throne off no vote. <laughs> Change! No, no, the Lord is coming to take the earth and establish righteousness. That stirs a lot of people. Yeah, no doubt. See, see we, we deal with this democracy, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to vote. Not in no kingdom. Not, yeah. Not in no kingdom. In, in, the, in the kingdom, most, most high is king, and he, what he says is what it is. Yeah. And force, and force with a rod of iron. No scripture. Come on, brother. Who we at? I, uh, Isaiah twenty six and ten. I'll be looking. You there, Nick? Okay. Let's get everybody there. We good. All praise to the most high. All praise. As long as you got it. So. Uh, they also got, they got clips on him on, uh, on videos online. Him talking bad about the Bible as well. Y'all know that, right? Mm -hmm. Talking bad yeah, about yeah, the Bible. Yeah, we talking about slavery. The shellfish, yeah. slavery, yeah. all that. Oh, what should we say? We can't eat shellfish now? Huh? Oh, then he talked about Jesus Christ, his uh, sermon that he gave on the mountain. Matthew chapter 5 and chapter 7. He said what Christ said was so radical, our own defensive part would consider that as terrorist talk. Wow. He said that. That's true. Y'all remember, just look it up. Just look it up on YouTube. Obama criticizes the Bible. And there's going to be a gang of videos pop up. He's saying off his own lips that what we read in Matthew 5, what we're going back to, is so radical. It's so radical that our own defense department would consider it as terrorist talk. And he's going to break it down the law of God, what they really mean. Who we really follow? Who did you really vote for? <laughs> All right, let's get it. Where we at? Isaiah 26 and 10. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 10. Everybody How we there? looking? Everybody there? We good? All right. Isaiah 26 and 10. Let favor be shown to those. Hold on, y'all. Hold it down the tape. Come on, Hebrew. Let's get it. Isaiah 26 and 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked. Let favor be shown to the wicked. What is grace? It's favor. Right? Let that be shown to the wicked. Come on. Yet will he not learn righteousness. He still won't learn righteousness. Mm. No matter, the Lord knew he was going to give grace and we would get more wicked and wicked. We would use that as a free badge to do what we want. Come on, brother. In the land of unrighteousness, will he deal unjustly? Read it again, brother. In the land of unrighteousness, uh -huh. 
Oh, uh, 10. Oh, right. 10. Or 10, right? Yeah. yeah. You go back. That's upright. Upright is all. Yeah, you should upright. upright. Oh, my fault, my fault. 10 0. Let favor be shown to the wicked. Uh. Yet will he not learn righteousness. Uh. In the land of uprightness, will he deal unjustly? Still going to deal unjustly. Still going to be wicked. Come on. And will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Majesty of the Lord. Verse 11. Read verse 11. Verse 11. Lord, when, they, when thy hand is lifted up, they will not see. Uh. But they shall see. But they shall see. <laughs> Come on. And be ashamed for their envy at the people. Mm. Yea, the fire of thy enemies shall devour them. Come on, Negro. Verse 12. Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us. For thou also hast wrought all our works in us. Mm. Verse 13. Read down to 14. Lord. Our Lord, our God. Other lords beside thee have had dominion over us. Other lords besides thee have had dominion over us. Correct. Right? Because we are the lords, but we've been sold into slavery. Come on, brother. But by thee only will we make mention of thy name. We only talking about the Lord. A lot of people get mad because we ain't into all that. You know, politics and voting and trying to get uh, an economic advantage within this society. That's not our team. Scripture already told us that we was going to play the tale. Like they was going to play the head. Like they was going to lend to us. We wasn't going to lend to them. Right? right? And they shall get above you very high. Right. And you shall come, come down very low. So we're forever at an economic disadvantage. And right. so no matter who comes into office or whatever. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Right. It don't matter. Right. So and then, and then in Proverbs, like I just said, in Proverbs 22 and 7, it says the borrower is serving to the lender. You don't go to the black man and get a loan for no house or no car. Right. Be real. Right? We are servants to whoever we're getting our money from. They're they going to lend to you, but you're not going to lend to them. So voting and, and getting into politics and all that is not going to change our situation. We need to get back to our God ASAP. Right? Because he's going to bring all this down. Right? The faith in this guy and all, he's going to bring all this down. Down to where we ain't got nothing to uh, hold on to. And that was, the, that was the whole point anyway. We never had no other way out. Only way out is the most high through the blood of Christ. That's your only way out ever. There wasn't no other way out. You can't vote your way out of this. Sing your way out of this. Dance your way out of this. None of that. Tied your way out of this. None of that. None of that. Read about 14. Verse 14. They are dead. They are what? They are dead. No. And, and they, they are dead. They shall not live. Mm. They are deceased. Mm. They shall not rise. Mm. Therefore has thou visited and destroyed them mm. and made all their memories to perish. To what? To perish. All right, we going against the Lord, man. What we really going against? All right, we, we, we stopped in this Matthew 5. We had a question about the law. And we jumped around a little bit. So we need to get back to this Matthew 5, finish that off, and then we get into Romans and show you in the New Testament as well, homosexuality is not condoned. The preachers on CNN are saying it's okay. Doesn't matter. Jesus never said anything. Jesus or Paul never said anything about homosexuals. It's okay. And people are believing that. I wonder why men ain't men no more. Wonder why they walk around with these skinny jeans on. Huh? Wrapped up hanging out. You wonder why. You okay and everything like it's cool. <laughs> Hey, ain't that what we see? Yeah. Yeah. Never look at it like that. Yeah. Men are wearing female clothes, basically. Wow. And the females are wearing men clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Roles have been switched. Right. Also, even we, oh, you know, we can't judge them. Since we're telling somebody something right, we're judging them. Right. Right. I thought we loved each other. We can't tell you, look, bro, you know you can't be doing that, right? You got to repent from that. We don't like that tough love. We like that flower love. That where you know that lips are like I love you. We don't like the word, you know, hey for look, you need to put that down. No, we ain't supposed to be doing that. That's what the love is. Right? No matter if they get mad at you or what, you gotta tell them. Because you love them. If it was a massacre at the end of the street, you're gonna let them keep walking. Or you all, you know, I can't judge you. Uh, 
Uh, you don't want to hear this anyway. I'm just going to throw you a pound. They chop brothers' heads off down the street. Or do I tell you, hey, man, turn around, man. They killing folk down there. It may hurt you. Dang, I thought I was going to get paid. Now, I ain't no gold at the end of the rainbow. They are killing people down there. Turn around, bro. Which one was the love? Turn around. Turn around. Me telling him, turn around. Even though it hurt his feelings, had to tell him, hey, bro, turn around, man. You're going to be dead if you keep going. Or do I just throw you the power? What's up, dog? Yeah, go get your money. <laughs> That's, my, that's my dog. I love you, though. Nah, man. Right. You got everything back with you now. Yeah. Right. Everything. Hold on one second, sis. I got you. All right, where we at? Matthew 5. Back up. Matthew 5, read that 17 again. 17 through 19. Right there. Matthew 5 and 17. <laughs> Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. Um. I am not come to destroy, um. but to fulfill. To what? To fulfill. Come on. Verse 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass. Till what pass? Heaven and earth pass. You got a problem. Earth and heaven is still earth. Right. <laughs> Come on. One job or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law um. till all be fulfilled. Till some be fulfilled. Till all be fulfilled. What I want to be fulfilled. Till all be fulfilled. Till all be fulfilled. It's prophecies in that Old Testament that has not come to pass yet. For example, the return of Jesus Christ. That's in the Old Testament as well. And it has not happened. To all be fed. Yes, sir. Verse 19. Whosoever, whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments uh. and shall teach so. And teach me and so. It's bad enough we, we, we sinners and we break it, but you're teaching me that it's okay to do it. And teach me and so. Come on. He shall be called the least in the kingdom. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Well, at least I'm in there. That's what I heard somebody tell me. Oh, it don't matter. As long as I'm in there. It don't matter. Huh? For one, your aim should be called great in the kingdom. You should be aiming to be called great in the kingdom of heaven. You ain't going to be aiming to be least in nothing. Right? right? <laughs> but this least means you're not getting in. If you was the least brother or the last brother to get into my house and I threw a party, that means you're not coming. That's what that means. You feel me? You got people trying to manipulate the script and say, oh, it don't matter. As long as I'm in there, dog, I'm cool. Uh, and they not even trying to strive to be perfect like Christ is. And that perfect means sincere. Be sincere with this thing. Right? So you should be called least in the kingdom if you are teaching me to break the commandments of the most high. Come on, brother. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. That's what we're looking for, to be called great in the kingdom of heaven. And that should be every uh, brother and sister and child go to be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Or for the Lord to tell you, job well done, my good and faithful servant. Come on in. That's what we're aiming for. All right, where you at, bro? That's 19? Are you on that? Yeah, that was 19. That was 19? Yeah. Read, read 20. What 20, sir? Verse 20, for I say unto you, that except your righteousness uh, shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes of the Pharisees. And that was them, scribes that, and Pharisees. That was them that just led out the law. They had no faith in Christ. Lest your righteousness exceed theirs. Come on. Ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Ye ain't getting in. And they was outward righteous. They had the garments on, you know, fly robes. Everybody seen rabbi come in there, put their wines up in there. Here comes the rabbi. They're going to preach and put your wine up. Right? Christ called them a graveyard anyway. Why? Because their mindset was wicked. I don't believe you're going to look good. You got the three piece, three piece suit on, cufflinks. The Bible. Huh? Yeah, you got the Bible for sure, but you got some extinct animals on your, on your feet. Gators. <laughs> See that? Slick box. Every he must be a man of the Lord. Right? It would be a graveyard. Teaching you all type of things that's against the scriptures. Right. Finish it off. Yeah. That's it. Let's go to this Romans 1. Romans chapter 1, y'all. And y'all write these things down. Go back, study them. Feel me? Come to Bible study with a notebook and a pen because the spirit be flowing, man. 
And uh, unless we had wrote these things down, you'd be like, hey, what was that one script you were saying? Hey, man, I don't even know. I don't even know. We was firing off. Catch it when it fire off. Write it down. That way you can go back and study these things. Right? And meditate on it. Trip off up. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get your recall together and everything. But you have to treat this as if, as if this is a part of your life. This is not something you get around to, like the Xbox or something. It's your life. Blood in, blood out. 24-7, 365. That's what it's supposed to be. You ain't whispering, you ain't, you know, you know, making you all girded at the loins all soft. Men are men. Men are supposed to man up in this thing. That's why our neighborhood is the way they are. That's why there's so many homosexuals running through our neighborhood. Huh? Skinny jeans on and all that. Why? Because the men ain't took their rightful position and man the front line. We are not man in the front line no more. We just laying back and got me a little job or a little car. I'm cool. We don't forgot about the cause though. Let's get this. He's from Romans chapter 1. My sister Marvin, you had something? I'm sorry. I was just trying to say, whenever we take a break, I have a few of them. Okay, okay, for sure. Look at this Romans chapter 1. Because it is in the New Testament that homosexuality is an abomination. Well, it doesn't say anything about, what, what about lesbianness? Same thing. <laughs> we, we, hey, we finna read it. Right. Huh? Right. Verbatim. It's going to tell you the same thing. Let you know these things have been going on. It ain't nothing new, man. It ain't nothing new. So we're going to Romans 1 and 24. Romans 1 and 24. 20, yeah, it started like 24. It started 24. 23. 23. Yeah. Straight on down. And this is going to air this clean out. <laughs> Why the pastor tell you on CNN after Obama said that it was all good. And had all type of black pastors on there. Well, I almost threw up listening to these clients. <laughs> 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 the it's not in the Bible. It's not in the New Testament anyway. I'm like, why? Wow, they can just say that. And many people follow that because they're not studying themselves. Right. Study this manuscript, man. You see a lot of many people are lying. Oh, Lord. Romans. Romans chapter 1, verse 18. Now start at 23. 21. 21. Go on back. Let's start at 18. Go on back. <laughs> this, this is a beautiful chapter right here. start at 18. Romans chapter 1, verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against an all ungodliness you hear that? and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. You hear what he said? Read that again. Slow down. Please. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. Against what? All ungodliness. All ungodliness. And unrighteousness, unrighteousness. of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Come on. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. You're without excuse. You see the sun rise every day, the moon, you see the wind, you see the tornadoes, lightning, thunder. You know it's a God. You're without excuse. Just even if you didn't have this, just looking at nature. You can say everything is, is being ran off rules and laws somewhere. That sun rise every morning and set every evening. Them stars come out, that wind blow, that lightning strike, the earthquake. Who giving all this? Is, is this just an accident? Who ordering all this? Come on, bro. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. You hear what he said? When they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Come on. Neither were they thankful but became vain in their imaginations, mm. and their foolish heart was dark. Because they weren't thankful in the Lord, they weren't humble, they didn't want to retain him in their knowledge, their foolish heart was dark. Come on. Confessing themselves to be wise, wise they became <coughs> fools, mm. and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like the corruptible man. Like with that picture of that seizure or jail. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how you gonna change the image of the incorruptible God into a man? Come on, brother. And to birds, and four-footed beasts, and creepy things. Mm -hmm. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness, mm -hmm. uncleanness, through the lust of their own hearts. Through the lust of what? Their own hearts. Through the lust of your own heart. You was burning in your lust for Larry, with his shoulders. <laughs> um, look at his shoulders. Like, how do you look at a man, as a man, and say, look at his shoulders? Look at his shoulders. <laughs> Uh, he gave you up because of the lust that was in your own heart. You 
you already was burning in your mind for this man or this woman. Mm -hmm. Uh, it ain't like you just woke up and like Lady Gaga just rolled over and yawned and said, I was born this way. She been had that unlawful lust on her. That ain't nothing new. Come on, he broke. Verse 24 again. Mm. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Mm. Mm -hmm. Who changed the truth of God into a lie uh. and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator uh. who was blessed forevermore? I mean... For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. God did what? Gave them up unto vile affections. Because they didn't want to retain God in their knowledge and in their mind. He said he gave them up. What does it mean to give them up? Yes. Give them over to this mindset. You don't want me, choose death. He told Israel they didn't do the wrong. Choose life and live, or choose death and die. You can get either one from me. Come on, or even yeah. their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. There go the women. There go your lesbianism. Right. Even their women. <laughs> huh? Read that again, brother. That's major. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. Mm. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. What is a, what is a woman doing going against nature? Mm -hmm. What is that? Lying with another woman. Because the natural order is for a man and a woman to lie down to, to make produce the children. To become one flesh. That's the natural order. Come on, brother. And likewise, also the mean. The who? The mean. The mean. Come on. Leaving the natural use of the woman. Uh. Burning their lust one toward another. Uh. Men with men. Working that which is unseemly. And receiving in that themselves that recompense of their error which was meat. Men with men working that which is unseen. Mm. Left the natural use of the who? The what? Mm. Well, what you mean is not in the New Testament about being a sodomite or a homosexual. It's right there. What? Right in there. How could you pass it up? It's right in the book. And these, pre <laughs> and these preachers that was on CNN after he made his announcement by Jesus dying so they could get married. Huh? Negro preachers. On TV, oh, it says no in the New Testament. Silly about, about being homeless. It doesn't matter. Jesus died for that. Mm. And comparing them getting married, which, you know, dropping your knee with the ring and the certificate and all that, because they doing it like that too. That's how we go and get married and the preacher, the power vested in me, homosexuals get married just like that now. Mm. Right? Don't let you know marriage is even deeper than the ritual you've been thinking it is. Way deeper. Because how can a sodomite take that which is righteous? Huh? That's right. <laughs> and make it fit his lifestyle. No, no, that's not biblical. Come on, brother. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, mm. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. Y'all know what that is? Yeah. A reprobate mind is a defiled mind. A mind void of understanding. You ain't want the Lord in your knowledge and in your mind? He gave you all to a reprobate or a reprobate mind. To do those things which are not convenient. <laughs> Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, mm. deceit, mm. malignity, whisperers, whisperers, <laughs> um, backbiters, mm. haters of God, despite proud. You're in a lot of these broke wrist people are proud now, like they out in yeah, numbers right now. I'm talking about you better not even look at them wrong. They switching hard. Mm -hmm. Huh? And if you get caught out in public, like we always out in public, reading Leviticus 20 and 13, you can be charged with a hate crime. Or this Romans 1 we read. You can be charged with a hate crime now. For reading the Bible. For reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. Come on, brother. Backbiters, mm -hmm. haters of God, despite, proud, boasters. Adventures of evil things, mm. disobedience of parents, mm. without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection. Without natural affection. Impl mm. Implacable, unmerciful, mm. who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Are worthy of what? Death. That's biblical, y'all. Y'all talk, you talk so harsh, brother. Why you got to talk like that? <laughs> the Bible says you're worthy of death if you commit these things. Oh, but Jesus died. So they could do these things. Who well, we going to listen to? <laughs> Come on, brother. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Like, look, you only do the same, but you even have pleasure. Oh, I don't know how to leave my life. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, that's a wicked mindset or a wicked response. Oh, it don't matter. I don't say shit. Don't say nothing. You got pleasure in them that's doing wickedness. Right. Not supposed to be like that, y'all. Not at all. Let's hit this first Corinthians. I'll give y'all second witness. Was that Romans 1 clear? Mm -hmm. huh? Can somebody tell you that homosexuality is not in the New Testament? All right. Nope. All right, so we're going to go to 1 Corinthians 6 next. You got something, brother? Yeah, you know, uh, I think it was just yesterday, uh, Obama, they, you know, it came out that Obama and his wife was like possibly going to get a divorce back in 2007. You hear anybody else in here hear about that? It was right after he made the gay situation law for a couple of days after that, it came out in the media that Michelle and Barack was going to possibly get divorced back in 2007. Now that happened to be the around the time when he was involved in a gay murder scandal back then. And so oh, that yeah. could have been oh, the problem that was that possible divorce. Y'all look up Obama gay murder scandal. Right. Never heard nothing like that. Gay murder scandal. Is that where you saw that? What he killed? Nah, I didn't know he had trouble. It was in his church. But I, I got it. What happened? Yeah, he was involved in a, involved in a unlawful lust with the drummer boy in his church. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta look it up. Obama murder scandal. Right. Exactly. I thought he was a piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe he might have been a piano. He was a piano. Okay, I'm, I'm right. He was involved in some sexy with this? Yeah, yeah. And, but the white dude, did the, his, his, his other lover, he went in hiding and he don't want you talking out about it. They said all the time. They don't know where fuck him. He went in hiding and she broke. Hey, straight up though, y'all look it up. The Obama gay murder scandal was going through some. Bro, he was a pianist or a drummer or something like that at his church. And just so happened when he started running for president, coming out, dude ended up murdered. Now, I don't know if it was a self-inflicted gun wound or it was dude sprayed up or I don't know. I don't know how that played out. What you, what you hear about that? Um, well, I know it wasn't that, like I said, because like uh, the guy, the, the pianist, he was seeing this white dude. He had a white lover too. Uh -huh. And you know, he talking to him, letting him know, look, I'm going to go public about me and Obama. <laughs> <laughs> so they knew that already. Yeah, they knew, but it was hush, you know, it was almost like they were locking people up and they spoke about it in the street stuff that were it. He didn't come out of Chicago. Right. Rose ran one ass. Right. You know. Right. And that's why the CSA was saying, we wouldn't look good right. politically, so she went along for the ride. Let's get this, y'all. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 9 through 11. This is also a YouTube video. Homosexuals brainwashing our children in school. They're teaching a lot of madness to our babies. They're catching them young. You know what I'm saying? They're looking at their older classmates. They graduated from uh, grade school. Cats is in junior high now. They're like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, Johnny was gay last year. Did you know that? You didn't know it. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, he's a mentor now. And they bring him back from junior high and have him sit down with the right. fifth graders and talk about his homosexual life amongst his junior high. But a lot of stuff going on, man. It'll blow your mind. It's two part video. And it's a sister on there. She raised her hand. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are y'all saying? Are we about to teach our children that this is okay? Yeah. And everybody was like, oh, you know, I mean, you know what? I mean, it shouldn't be nothing wrong. She's like, but what are we saying to them? Are we saying that it is okay for this to go on? And everybody else was trying to talk against them a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But she stood up. It was like, I ain't feeling none of this. This, this, is, this is way left me. It just don't make sense to me. It's like, why would you teach the, you know what I'm saying, the opposite? Like, you can't make no babies this way. Like, why are you teaching them? Right, right. Because right. 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, you should Because if you get them young, if you get them young, they become willing adults. Mm -hmm. And they never rebel against you. Right. Then you have a whole society uh, operating off their spirit. Homosexuality. And that's a whole nother spirit. That ain't even just a, a feminine spirit that's on these women. Like it's something way hard. Like I don't even know females that act like that. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like it's a whole nother type of. Yeah, it's, it's all type of spirit in the least Hey, bruh, because if you look at it, if they got to do homosexual acts to come up with, like, 
certain devices, it would make sense that they would want that type of energy around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get this. It's kind of hot there, yo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, well, I'm about to turn it on down. <laughs> 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 Johnny, your head shining. <laughs> <laughs> I just get it. 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter 6, verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Anybody got it? Know ye not the, that the unrighteous shall not inherit not inherit the kingdom of God. Flat out. The unrighteous are not getting in. Those that are practicing law work, you're not getting in. Come on, brother. Be not deceived. Mm -hmm. Neither fornic fornicators, uh -huh. nor doubters. And homosexuality is a form of fornication. Found in Leviticus 20 and Leviticus 18. Those are the chapters on the unlawful lust that the Lord put down. Bestiality, homosexuality, adultery, and many others. Alright, so that, that, that implies that as well. Come on, brother. No idolatry. No idolaters, those that are worshiping another God. Or involved in rituals to another God. Thinking you worshiping Jesus. Come on, brother. No uh, adulterers. No adulterers, come on. No effeminate. No what? Infeminate. Well, then who know what an effeminate is? Yeah. That's a that's a feminine man. <laughs> See that? With womanly. Womanly character. Yeah, womanly yeah. character. Uh, what a man doing worrying female emotions anyway? See that? It's clear in the New Testament. What you mean it's not in the New Testament? Paul even said, don't be deceived. Huh? The effeminate won't get in either. Along with the rest that's on this list. Come on, brother. Nor ab abusers of themselves hmm. with this? mankind. Come on. Nor thieves. Nor who? Thieves. Come on. Nor covetous. Nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor ex extortioners, extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yah. And such were some of you, huh. but ye are washed. But ye are washed. You claim Christ now, right? We are washed. Such were some of you, but we are washed. Come on. But ye are sanctified. Huh. But ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh -huh. And by the spirit of our Yah. All right, let's go to this. Uh, let's go to this Genesis. Genesis right here. And it's gonna get to talking about what happened with Sodom and Gomorrah. Genesis 18 chapter, Genesis 19 chapter. We're gonna read the whole thing. We didn't establish in the Old and in the New Testament. The Lord has not changed His mind. Concerning this, this abominable act. What's an extortioner according to the Bible? An extortioner is somebody that acquires money by illegal use of authority. Like who?
mean, your woman ain't around, then what, you just gonna get that off or something? I don't, I don't know that. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't think about it. But in verse 24, where it says, dishonor their own body, that would be the same thing as, yeah. uh, you feel me? So it's, it's just an unlawful sexual act. It's an unlawful sexual thing to do. Lust. You feel me? know it has to do with that. Yeah, and it come down to you lusting anyway. You lusting over something that you ain't got right now. And, you know, you know, uses of themselves. You get to touch this. Come on, let's get this though, man. Let's go to Genesis chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18. Start at verse 1. We're going to be 18 and 9. These are the events leading up to the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. And you can uh you can YouTube or Google uh Sodom and Gomorrah remains. And they're still and they're still there. Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone. That's what they call somebody that can't control their so it's lust, like, called brimstone loans. They say also you can do a pillow of salt. Uh, yeah, pillow, pillow yeah, of salt. Yeah, that too. Yeah, pillow of salt. That's another one. They'll show you where it's at. That's all right. I just get it. Genesis chapter 18. Genesis. Chapter 18, verse 1. Hey, your president just okay what we about to read about. Come on, brother. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre. And he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself toward the ground. He did what? Bowed himself toward the ground. Now, somebody amongst them must not be a regular angel. Because the regular angels don't allow you to bow to them. Right. That's in right. Revelation 19, 10, all through the book of Revelation. Right. Dude, try to, dude try to bow to an angel and he pick you up off your feet and say, look, I'm a brother. Serve the Lord. Right? Somebody walked up with, with these angels. Come on, brother. He bowed himself toward the ground. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. Say, my Lord. My who? My Lord. Now, I remember Christ had told the Pharisees, Abraham rejoiced to see my day. Oh man, you ain't even 30, you blaspheme. And they tried to stone him. And he was like, before Abraham was, I am. You know, Christ was telling them, I had already ate with Abraham. Before I came in the flesh, I was already in the spirit doing my thing. All right, come on, bro. And said, My Lord, if now I have found faith in thy sight, pass not away. I pray thee from thy servant. Let a little water, I pray thee, be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. And I will fetch a morsel of bread and comfort ye, your hearts. And after ye shall pass on. For therefore are ye come to your servant. And they said, So do as thou hast said. Mm. And Abraham hastened into the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal, knead, and make cakes upon the herd. And Abraham ran unto the herd and fetched a calf, tender and good and gave it unto a young man, and he hasted to dress it. And he took butter and milk and the calf, which he had dressed and set it before them. And he stood from under the tree, and they did eat. And they what? Did eat. <laughs> Abraham eating uh, with the Messiah some angels. Come on. And they said unto him, Where is Sarah thy wife? And he said, Behold, in the tent. And he said, I will certainly return unto certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. Mm. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. Mm. And Sarah heard it in the tent door, which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age. Mm. And it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of one so women. Could, she could even give birth when she was a very old woman. So the angel told Abraham, look, according to the time of the life, which is nine months, I'm going to return, you're going to have a son. Right? But they are very old at this point. Everything dried up and everything. It ain't this is this is this is reverse, this is reverse menopause. You went into menopause 
and then came back out of menopause. I have children. This is a miracle. Same thing happened to John the Baptist, mom. Come on, brother. Verse 12. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord, being old also? She's like, I'm going to have a baby. I'm old as, I'm old as that deacon. <laughs> old as Methuselah. So I'm going to have a baby. This is a miracle. And right. once a woman gets to the age, or well, to the point where she can't have children no more, you feel me? She can't reverse that and go back to being young again and having children. So this is a miracle. Come on, brother. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I surely bear a child which am old? And you see who said? It said, And the Lord said unto Abraham. See that? Come on, brother. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Uh -huh. At the time appointed, I return unto thee, according to the time of life, and uh -huh. Sarah shall have a son. Return. Then Sarah denied, saying, I laugh not. Now she, now she taking like denying that she was laughing. That what Isaac named me, laughter. Come on, brother. I laugh not, for she was afraid. And he said, Nay, but thou didst laugh. You did laugh. You kind of doubted what the angel said. You was laughing. You know? Come on, brother. And the men rose up from thence and looked toward Sodom. And Abraham went with them to bring them on the way. Now they like, well, look, our mission is to go to Sodom anyway, so come on, Hebrew. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham the thing which I do? Uh huh. Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, mm. and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Uh -huh. For I know him. For I know him. Come on. That he will command his children uh -huh. and his household after him, uh -huh. and they shall keep the way of the Lord uh -huh. to do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham. That which he had spoken of him. So he said, look, I know Abraham, he's going to raise him in my commandments. That he may command his children. See that? And what the, you mean, Abraham kept the commandments of God before they was ever given on Mount Sinai to the children of Israel. The law has always been in the earth. Always. How no one know the difference between unclean and clean animals? How? If the law wasn't in the earth. Why the Lord finna destroy Sodom and Gomorrah in the next chapter and said their sin has reached up into my herds? How did they sin? How did they break the law? The law wasn't in the earth yet. It had always been there. It was given to Adam. Come on, bro. Verse 20. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, uh -huh. and because their sin is very grievous. Now, how was their sin grievous? Sin is the breaking of the law. But if the law wasn't in the earth, Sodom and Gomorrah didn't sin. The law was in the earth. Always has been. Come on, brother. I will go down now and see whether they have done all together according to the cry which has come on to me. And if not, I will know. Mm -hmm. And the men turned their faces from thence and went toward Sodom. But Abraham stood yet before the Lord. Mm -hmm. And Abraham drew near and said, Will thou also destroy righteous with the wicked? Mm -hmm. Peradventure, there be fifty righteous within the city. Will thou also destroy and not spread the place of the fifty righteous that there that, that are therein? <laughs> that be hey, slow up, man. <laughs> that be that be far from thee to do after this man, to slay the righteous with the wicked, and that the righteous should be as the wicked. Mm. That be far from thee. Mm. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? So, uh, Abraham is pleading with the Lord right now. Look, if you find fifty righteous people, now you still gonna take it out? Lord, come on now. Huh? You're going to destroy the righteous with the wicked? Come on, Hebrew. And the Lord said, If I find inside them 50 righteous within the city, <laughs> then will I then I will spare all the place for their sake. Yeah, okay, I'll play a little game, baby. Bro. Okay, if I find 50 in there, <laughs> you know, I'll spare it. <laughs> come on. And Abraham answered and said, Behold now, I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord, which am but dust and ashes. Mm. Prayer adventure, there shall lack five of the fifty righteous, without destroy all the city for lack of five. And he said, If I find there forty and five, I will not destroy. I'll be down to forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> if it's fifty, you find fifty, you're gonna spur. Well, Lord, what about forty-five? That's just five off from fifty. Now Abraham is hollering at the most high about spurring these sodomites. Trip off that. He still was praying for him, like, hold on, Lord, look. You know, it may be some people there that's righteous. Don't just take it all off the map. Uh, <laughs> come on. And he spake unto him yet again, and said, Peradventure, there shall be forty found there, 
And he said, I will not do it for forty's sake. Mm. And he said unto him, O oh, let, oh, oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak. Peradventure, there shall thirty be found there. And he wow. said, I will not do it if I find thirty there. So even though he was pleading with the Lord for them, we've seen the outcome of this whole thing. Sodom and Gomorrah steals and sinners. Regardless, even though he was pleading to the Lord, Lord, I'm home. I know how you get down. You're going to lay this flat. But what about 30? Now, he didn't talk him down off 20. Come on, you And he said, Behold, now I have taken upon me to speak unto the Lord. Peradventure, there should be 20 found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for 20's sake. And he said, Oh, let not the Lord be angry. And I will speak yet, but this once. Peradventure. Ten shall be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for ten's sake. Abraham know these sodomites is off the chain out of here. You know, he can count it on down. He don't want fifty down to ten. Come on, he brought And the Lord went his way as soon as he had left communing with Abraham. And Abraham returned unto his place. Nineteen, verse one. He could save that deal too, bro. Like it's got to be at least ten. Come on, he brought Chapter 19, verse one. And there came two angels to Sodom and Eve, and, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot seeing, seeing them rose up to, to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold now, my Lord, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet. And ye shall rise up early and go in your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the streets all night. <laughs> and he pressed upon them. to handle that business. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Verse 3. And he pressed upon them great, and they turned into, unto him and entered into the house. And he made them a feast and did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they laid down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, come past the house round. Uh, so these Sodomites surrounded Lot's house. <laughs> uh, Both old and young. That let you know they, these Sodomites 